Well, hey everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood, Pastor Nate, just coming to you as I have been doing throughout this season. And this is actually going to be my second to last video that I share with you as the members of Bethlehem Lutheran Church before I go and start in my new call at a church in Pennsylvania. Something that I wanted to talk with you about today, um, you know, because we're doing a lot of packing and getting ready for the move, uh, it's there's been a lot of preparation that's gone into that and you know just packing in general is preparation in itself and then there's all the other preparation I'm doing for moving in this next season of my call and making sure I'm meeting with the, everyone that I need to at the church uh, getting all the paperwork done and everything that goes into that but I know that I'm not the only one that's going through a, prep, a time of preparation that you as members of Bethlehem Lutheran Church, you're in a season of preparation as well. I mean, you're preparing to say goodbye to a pastor. You're preparing to take on the intentional interim that's going to be coming after I'm gone. And then you're even starting to consider, you know, what it would look like to prepare for the next full-time pastor that comes and serves at this church. And whether you're packing boxes like I am or if you're preparing in the next season for a church there is a lot of preparation that happens in that and with preparation comes a lot of stressors that we really get kind of bogged down by everything that we go through where it can be an exciting season it can also be a really stressful season so I'm going to be talking a little bit about preparation this Sunday when we go through our text in Matthew, but I wanted to start the conversation in my daily video with you guys today. And as I've been thinking about preparation while packing boxes here at the house, uh, I did what I normally do, and I turned to scripture about, you know, what does it look like to get ready for or be in preparation for the next season in our life? and. In my study and in my devotions, it led me to First Peter, and it's First Peter, First uh, Peter one, verse thirteen, and it says this: Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that was that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So, you know, as we are going through these stressors of preparing for these different seasons what we are called to do is to let go of our preconceived notions let go of those things that we're hanging on to of you know the shoulda woulda couldas i know you guys have heard me say that we should never should on ourselves, and you know i think all of us need to do that in this season of preparation but as we're doing that, and we're letting go of things, we should hang on to Jesus Christ. And that He is what's going to get us through everything that's coming up in our lives. Whether it be the lives of a church body moving forward with another pastor, or on my end, relying on Christ that He's equipped me, just as He's equipped you, for with everything that we need, so that we can move forward in this next season. You guys have heard me say for a while now that I believe that the season that we're in, God is saying, hey, I'm doing a thing, are you with me? And then going back to the Isaiah text, behold, I'm doing a new thing, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. That no matter what we're going through, we can try and prepare all we want for it. But if we're going to just hang on to our baggage, hang on to our junk and, you know, stress the whole time about it and worry about what the future brings, then sometimes we're not actually paying attention that God's got this. And no matter what we're going through, he's going to prepare those ways in the desert. He's going to make streams of living water for each and every one of us so that as we rely on him and knowing that he's the only thing that really matters we're going to see fruit we're going to see wonderful things coming out of these next seasons 
So I know I'm praying for the members of Bethlehem Lutheran Church that as we are seeking these times and looking towards preparing in this new season, prepare yourself not to be let down, rather prepare yourself to be lifted up by the person of Jesus Christ and that he is going to walk with you, move with you, equip you for everything that's going to happen. Now right now I don't have my uh, Our Daily Bread promise box. I have that all packed away. I did that in my preparation time. But let's pray together, shall we? Well, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I thank you so much for my brothers and sisters at Bethlehem Lutheran Church. And I praise you for the new family and brothers and sisters I'm going to have in Pennsylvania. But as we're all preparing in different ways and whatever season we're going through, whether people listening right now are members of Bethlehem, members at Christ Lutheran Church, or if they just stumble across this video on YouTube and they're struggling with their own preparation in life. Lord, I just pray that you pour your peace on each and every one of us, on each and every one of uh, each and every individual that is watching this right now. I pray your shalom peace just be poured into them so that we know that you got this. That no matter what we're going through, you are preparing ways in the wilderness. That you are going to bring streams of life in, into our lives. Well, let's focus only on you and not bring anything else of ourself in that. Let us, let us put to death our own self, our own preconceived notions, our own concerns, those are voices of doubt. Help us pray against those. And I pray against them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Or let us look fully on you so we can move and be the people that you have called us to be. All this I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Well, thanks a lot for joining me. And I look forward to doing my final video for you during the weekend. But for now, this is your friendly neighborhood, Pastor Nate, and I'm out.